Are you looking for new opportunities in these challenging times? In this, the second part of the Finding Opportunities in Challenging Times episode of Business Success with Doug Barra, I'm going to cover some of the ways that our clients are finding new opportunities and expanding on existing ones. I want to talk to you today about a couple of the clients that we have that have made some major changes in the way they're doing business during these challenging times. The first client, they service people going out on cruises. And this obviously is a very challenging time right now. And they were seriously wondering what they were going to do about their business because literally they had lost all of their business overnight. So what we did is we had them brainstorm with their entire team, looking at what are their strengths and how could they use those strengths to make new opportunities. And because of brainstorming is getting all the opportunities out there, all the ideas out there without filters. Remember, brainstorming is without filters. They came up with all kinds of ideas all kinds of ideas that incorporated the different strengths that they had, the different ways they could do things inside their industry, the different things they could do outside their industry, even using those strengths. And we were able to take all of those new ideas, and there were dozens of them, and then start to look at, okay, which ones created the biggest opportunities and which ones were the easiest to implement. And we then took those that created the biggest value and were the easiest to implement or even were harder to implement if they created great value. And we started looking at, okay, how can we implement these? And some of them were directly inside of their industry. They were like, okay, how can we take a shift inside of the cruise industry and do some things that would make a difference here? Some of them were really looking completely outside of the cruise industry. For example, one was inside of this pandemic, we need housing. How can we use some of the cruise ships that are out there, because we know where they all are, to do housing? Some of them, of the ideas, were about how can we just create some new ideas that might be of use? And they looked at things that they already knew and how could they use them? And they came up with about a half a dozen really good ideas that they've been working on and implementing to create new opportunities during this pandemic. The next company I want to talk to you about, this company is an insurance, not insurance, (laughs) this company is an attorney firm. And they weren't necessarily impacted by coronavirus other than They needed to take their entire team and move remote because they couldn't work inside of their environment. They're a fairly large team. They would have been, you know, they're they're very close to each other inside of the office. So they sent everybody home with laptops so that they could work remotely. And what they focused on was really creating internal projects so that they could keep all of their team members focused on how can we improve our accountability and our effectiveness. And they implemented a number of new procedures and systems to make the workflow easier and allowing them to process more cases faster. This allowed them to truly have their remote workforce work more effectively and generate more business at higher accountability. So you can see that there's a number of different ways that you can find opportunities during these challenging times, depending on where your business is at. So I want to thank you for joining me for this week's episode. Next week, we're going to delve into how you can remove the inefficiencies in your business to make you more profitable and have your team be more engaged and excited. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Remember, visit secretstosuccessinbusiness.com to download your free copy of our Insider's Guide to Success in Business. 
Remember, that's secrets to success in business.com. And if you've gotten value from this week's episode, please like it, share it, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next week.